Hello everybody, my name is Shedrak Akinkayo and today I'm going to speak to um, everyone about um, open source in Africa. Um, so let's get started. Like I said, my name is Shedrak Akinkayo, I'm a software developer. I'm a developer advocate at Cloud Foundry Foundation, which is um, the best platform as a service that you can deploy your applications on. Um, it's an open source um, company um, governed by the Linux Foundation but we are also a separate entity on our own. Um, I'm also a technical writer, I write on at um, Smashing Magazine, Log Rocket, et cetera. And um, today I'm very, very excited to be with everybody in um, Sova. So happy to be here. So let's just get started and get ready to um, for our talk, for my talk rather. Um, so Africa. Um, I mean, the, t the topic is open source in Africa, right? So we're just going to talk about Africa a little bit. So Africa is a continent in the world with various countries in it, right? So Africa is not a country because I've seen a lot of like people that are not from Africa assume that Africa is just one country. Well, Africa is actually a continent with various other countries in it. Um, we have like tons of countries. We have West Africa, we have countries in West Africa, we have countries in Southern Africa, we have countries in East Africa, and we also have countries in North Africa. So we have various countries scattered across the four, um, across these four points. So Africa is quite populated, right? But we might not be as much as people in the Europe and America, but we are quite popular, we are quite much, and Africa is populated by um, 1.2 billion people as of 2016. So as of 2016, the demographics for Africa is 1.2 billion people, which I still think is a lot of people, considering that we are like, we make up about, about a very small percent of the Earth's um, population. So um, talent. So one other thing that is beautiful about Africa is that our major resource is not even oil, it's not even gold, it's not whatever minerals that um, um, you people from the European countries and uh, America, etc., cetera, come into the, um, Africa to look for. Our major resource is talent. We have like various talented designers, developers, engineers in Africa and scattered across Africa. Um, we have like various engineers in the big in Fortune 500 companies. Um, we have um, engineers in Apple, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So Africa's major exports, in my opinion, is talent, not even mineral resources or etc. So is that. Um, so the GitHub state of the October 2019. So in GitHub state of October 2019, there was um, improvement, right, in um, open source in Africa. Um, so this particular um, graph here shows um, where open source is growing. And if you scroll down, if you look closely, Nigeria, the first on the list with the highest percentage is 59%. Nigeria is an Af is a is a um, is a is a country. In, um, in Africa, Western Africa, where I'm, where I'm from, I'm from Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria to be precise, we've grown about 59% in our open source work, which I believe that is a very, very big um, um, feat. Um, in Kenya, Kenya is also a country in Africa, Kenya 44%. Um, then Tunisia, Morocco, both 40 and 39%. These countries are both are, are all African countries and it's it's quite exciting to see that we Africans are beginning to take open source really seriously and we've we'll seen a lot of growth. So open source is becoming even more global as global communities across Asia and Africa, Africa to be precise, is growing and um, we are seeing like very, very good projects, very, very good contributions from Africa in Africa, which is like really, really interesting. Um, so this graph is from the GitHub um, of the Octovers in 2019. So um, you can also check out their website below to, I posted a link below to see uh, more details about other countries. Um, so um, also regional art spotlights in Africa, right? So code and creativity are in no short supply across Africa. Developers here created 40% more open source repository this year than last, a higher percentage growth than any other continent. This is, this is insane. This is insane because um, if Africans, Africans are beginning to take open source software development very serious and um you can see that in morocco 65 percent growth happened in kenya 54 percent growth happened in nigeria being the biggest um the most populated country in africa um with about 200 million people have 50 percent growth egypt's 49 percent growth south africa 50 percent growth 
this is quite interesting. This is really interesting because the numbers of the number because we still have facing um major resource problems like when it comes to internet, when it comes to electricity, we still have issues with that. But to see that despite this um setbacks, these minor setbacks, these technical difficulties, we still have um, a very good number of people that are still willing to contribute to open source, which I believe it's quite, quite interesting, which I believe is quite interesting. Um, larger developer communities like those in Morocco, Kenya, and Nigeria saw up to 70% more contributors this year than last year, which is like interesting because um, if you see the, um, the growth in open source work from of, of Africa, you see the growth of software for Africa, um you would see that as at last year there was not so much um as at like let's say 29 2017 2018 this was like the the benchmark this is where the growth started happening but from 2019 2020 yeah so from 2019 2019 the amount of contributors that we've had the amount of contributions to open source and creators that we've had from nigeria and other parts of africa morocco kenya um has grown up by 70 percent which is like insane which is really crazy um, we have uh, various developers that are working together, various communities that are working together, various developer communities that are working together to help Africa as the um, ecosystem contribute more to open source. So in the coming slides, in the coming talks, I will be speaking more about these communities. So I'm excited to get started with you guys. So let's quickly on um, So, oh, Oscar. So open source community Africa. Open Source Community Africa is a community of creative driven creatives driving the, driving the open source movement in Africa, right? So um, it was created to encourage more African developers to contribute to open source projects and advocate for open source movement in Africa. Its main goal is to ensure that Africans not only use software and hardware, but we are also creators of this technology and we're also contributing to open source, right? So the whole Oscar is... Um, I think Oscar is the only open source community in Africa that is active. I stand to be corrected, but to the best of my knowledge, Oscar is the, open source co is the only open source community in Africa that is active, and they are doing a great job. I myself am part of the core team of Open, um, open Source Africa, and we are, our, our, our goal is to just keep pushing and evangelizing. Now, use, I'm permitting to use the word evangelizing um, on open source, the open source movement in Africa. We gather um, people, like-minded people, that uh, have the zeal to um, contribute to open source, teach them how to get started in open source, provide platforms in which they can contribute to open source. And it's a win-win for both of us. We see them grow, and we see them becoming the open source movement grow in Africa. And we also see the open source um, movement encourage them to be better at their skills. So it's a win-win for both situations, right? Um, so Oscar demographics. Oscar is currently available in five African countries: um, Ethiopia, Nairobi, Zambia, um, Togo, um, Togo, Syria alone, and Nigeria. So these are where um, we are currently located. Oscar is currently located in these countries, and we are looking forward to growing more in the coming months, in coming weeks, and coming years. So we are looking forward. To, so our main aim is to spread across Africa. We've been able to target five countries, eleven plus cities in these countries, and we are about a thousand plus in members, which is a really, really good number, considering that um, it's, an, it's open source, right? Considering that we, um, open source is still get, getting like a very good, um, it's still growing in Africa. It's good to see that we have a thousand plus people that are actually willing to contribute to open source, which is like pretty much insane and pretty much nice. Um, so, so these are like pictures from our events across Africa. Um, we also have Women of Oscar, if you can see by the right bottom corner of it. Um, we also encourage women to um, contribute to open source. We are a diversified and inclusive community. We do not discriminate. So we are open to receiving anybody that has the interest to um, working in open source, which is um, pretty amazing since we're like the first of its kind in Africa. And it's quite exciting to watch people grow and watch people contribute to open source. We've seen various people get jobs, um, get jobs from their work in open source. We've seen various people um, be better engineers. We see some people take on various roles at various companies, and when you ask them how they were able to achieve what they have achieved, they would say, um, "Well, well, it was my work at open source in the open source community Africa that has helped me be um, a better person, a better engineer, and a better um, p uh, com uh, community person." Because we encourage, a com we are basically a community 
we encourage um, people to talk to each other and we encourage people to collaborate. So that is the main aim of our community. Um, so Oscar projects, we have various projects across board. So the Open Source Festival is an annual open source gathering of OSS enthusiasts and contributors from, Af from around Africa and other parts of the world. So the first version of it happened um, in February 2020, that's this year, and we saw um, people from various across Africa come to Lagos, Nigeria for um, open source. So we saw people from Kenya, we saw people from Zambia, Zimbabwe, various, various parts of Africa come down to Lagos, Nigeria to celebrate the joy of open source, to learn more about open source. We also brought in speakers from on, in, in that are, are well vested in open source to come in, to come and teach us, to come and encourage developers. We had Amanda Wali, we had, um, we had Amanda. Amanda is the, the engineering manager in open source at Google. Um, we had Ariel, Ariel is a human, open source designer. She's an humanitarian designer currently. Um, we also had um, various people from Facebook, we had um, from Twitter also. So um, basically, we had, we saw a very good number of people willing to sponsor us when we were um, searching for sponsors. We had, our major sponsor was Facebook, um, Facebook open source. We had, we saw sponsorship from Google. We saw sponsorship from GitHub. We saw a very good number of sponsorship, which was quite interesting. We raised a very um, good number of money and we saw at least over a thousand people from various parts of Africa coming down to Nigeria to talk about open source, which was mind blowing. It was a three days event. The first two days was for the open source festival. And the second, the, um, the first event was the Sustain Africa. So um, Sustain is like a gathering of open source contributors that come together to talk about how to um, grow as a community. So it started, it, it started in, in Europe, right? But um, we were able to bring and test out our own version in Africa, uh, which was a very, very small gathering of like mind open source contributors where we talk about how to grow in open source. So um, we also are uh, able to carry put that out in the first day of the event. And the rest two days, we had people from various parts of the world coming to talk about open source. Um, so the Women of Oscar. Women of Oscar is like a joint effort with Shikot Africa. Shikot Africa is a, an in initiative in Africa um, that trains girls how to code. So we partnered with them. Um, one of the co-founders of, of Open Source Africa is the founder of um, Shikot Africa. So it was easy to integrate these two communities together to introduce women and train more women and girls into open source. Like, I mean, like I said, we are a very inclusive um, and diversified community. We want to see everybody flourish irrespective of their gender. So we are able to create Women of Oscar to encourage more girls and get more, get more women and girls to get inspired into um, open source. Um, Oscar and Open Collective Bounty Program. So I'm pretty sure uh, most of us know who Open Collective is, um, who they are. They're like a platform where you can open source communities can be transparent about their spending, about their income. So we are able to collaborate with um, Op Oscar, um, with um, open source, uh, open collective to introduce more people into open source by paying contribu these contributors to fix bugs on open collective projects. So there are various um, on the open collective GitHub repo. There are various um, there are various packages. There are various um, um, repos where developers can just come in and um, fix bugs and get paid. So every single um, issue has a price tag to it. So all you just need to do is clone the repo, fix the bug, push the commit, and once your commit has been merged, you get paid, which is pretty interesting because um, in Africa here, most people believe in pay, paying for their talent. So we're able to collaborate with us, um, Open Collective to get them to come collaborate with us. So Open Source Design Africa, I mean, Open source isn't all about coding, right? Open source includes design too. Open source includes evangelizing too. So we're able to be, um, this is a joint, Open Source Design Africa is a joint effort by the design team, the wonderful design team of Oscar to help designers get ahead contributing in open source. So we've been having various sessions with um, people like Ariel. She um, worked as Ushaidi and um, she's a humanitarian designer. Um, we had a session recently for her where she taught people how to um, contribute to open source and as a as designer. So this is something that we're looking forward to doing more going forward. So connecting with Oscar, um, these are various links to which you can connect to Oscar. You can also um, donate, um, donate to Oscar with, on our open collective link. You can also follow us on Twitter at Oscar Africa. Um, so let's talk about some key players in Africa open source ecosystem. So Samson, Samson is my friend. Samson is my, is a very good friend of mine. He's the founder 
of open source community africa he's a co-founder rather um he has been writing code he has been involved in the open source movement for about 10 years now um he's currently maintaining sugar labs as a board of director and also sustaining open source collective as a board member samson is a very very has a very very vast experience in open source um he has been doing this for a very long time he has worked with african union international communication union and the un women to bring more women in technology you can find him on LinkedIn with the links and Twitter and GitHub. Something is a very, very good open source advocate. Um, he has spoken at various open source events across the world, and he is an um, industry expert in open source. So there's that something. Something Godi is in, is from Nigeria, and he's a very, very good open source ad advocate. So Ada Unduka Oyom. So Ada is the founder of Shikod Africa. Um, it's a community, um, a non-governmental organization that is. Um, focused on helping girls get into coding, girls and women get into coding. And she's also the co-founder of Open Source Community Africa alongside Samson Gordy. Ada plays an act, um, active role in building new communities. She's also um, a developer, um, a program manager at um, Google on the Google Developer Community Program, the Google DigiDG Program. She's a very, very, um, she's an expert in creating gender diversity and advocacy in um, OSS. Bia, she's the uh, Bia, the Women of Oscar initiative. She also helps together with myself to um, organize the largest open source conference for OSS developers in Africa, TAG Open Source Festival 2020. We still haven't got over the success of open source festival, and we're looking forward to doing it more. Um, Prosper Otemuyua is an open source, is from Nigeria, is an open source advocate, evangelist, and is CTO of Eden Life Inc. Um, he's one of the pioneers of the open source movement in Africa, and he speaks regularly across the world. Um, one of the major milestones for him in open source in 2016, Prosper beat out top companies like Facebook, Google, um, et cetera, to trend number two on GitHub. The only company that was able to top him on the training developers at 2016 in PHP is Pro, um, Google, which is a very big uh, fact and um, um, fit for just in one man, for just one man. Um, Prosper looks forward to helping the community here in Nigeria and across Africa with Follow Loop Africa. Um, you train, help developers get started and in open source, etc. cetera. So, um, Abil Abigail Makolo. Abigail is a product designer. She's an open source design avocado. She has over three years of combined experience in technology focusing on web and product design. She loves open source. She's a big open source, advocate for open source and design. Um, open source design. She's a member of Open Source Community Africa. Um, she also was a Google coding mentor in 2019. And she's focused on helping more women get involved in technology and open source. Um, Marlene. Marlene is um, a speaker. She's a Zimbabwean. She's from Zimbabwe, and she's based in the city of Harare. She's an advocate for using science, technology for social good, and increasing diversity in this field. She's also a director and vice chair at the Python Software Foundation. So she's very, very much deeply involved in open source for the Python Software Foundation. And she's also at the chair of the Python Africa, that is Python Community Africa. Um, she's currently pursuing a computer science degree in the University of London. Marlene, Marlene is a very, very big, um, she's a very big advocate for um, open source and I would like to um, if, um, to see her do more things and we'll also be collaborating with her, with, um, her open source community Africa to do more, um, bring more women in open source, into open source, etc. So Shaguna Debayo, Shaguna Debayo is a seasoned user experience interface engineer is a passion for design system. He's the creator is the creator of Chakra UI. Chakra UI is the largest open source project that has come out of Africa. It's being used by companies across the world. Um, it's a it's a popular React component library that helps you create accessible websites with apps and speed. He's currently the design engineering manager at tradelink.com. Um, Chakra UI is a very, very huge project and a very huge success for open source in Africa. It currently has over 10,000 stars in GitHub and is being used by various people across the world. This is a very big, um, this is a very big success and fit for open source generally in Africa. And um, with open source community Africa, we would like to see more projects like this coming out of Africa going forward. So notable other, um, open source software projects and communities from Africa, Chakra UI, like I said, it's a popular React library with over um, 10,000 stars, and it's being used by various companies across the world and developers across the world. Um, it's very, very popular and it's getting a lot of PR from people that enjoy the, to use the framework. So um, Made in Nigeria. Made in Nigeria is a collection of open source projects that has on, on GitHub that has 
be created by developers in Nigeria. So it consists of all, like it's, a, it's like a collection of a directory of various open source projects um, that has been made in Nigeria, hence the name Made in Nigeria. Um, Code for Africa, Code for Africa is Africa's largest um, the, um, journalism open source initiative. Um, um, so they help um, create better um, open source journalism tools. Um, you can check them out. So like I said, Open Source Community Africa. So uh, Open Source Community Africa, it's like I've explained upward, is a community of like-minded open source contributors that come together to spread and get better in open source. So Material P19, Material P19 is an open source um, project um, by Olaolu Olawi. Um, he's currently a user, um, senior UX developer at Shopify. He made um, Material P19 when he was about 16 years old or 17. Um, it's currently, it currently have over 300,000 plus downloads and um, it has seen a lot of um, light, um, praise from open source communities across, Af um, across the world and um, from industry experts in de um, design and in, um, it's a visual studio code team. Um, a lot of people are currently using it and it has over 300,000 downloads, like I said. Um, so the Free and Open Source Foundation for Africa. So the Free and Free Social and Open Source Foundation of Africa is the foundation that helps promote the free free software and open source in Africa. Um, it's a, it's, I think it's currently it's an initi initiative currently governed by the UN, but um, currently started by the UN. I, I, I honestly um, do not know if that is correct, but then there's, um, I'm stand, I stand to be corrected. Um, so how to provide better support for open source software in Africa? I mean, Africa is seeing a very large increase in open source and we need to be able to support Africa, right? So. We need to, our, company, our companies and initiatives all over the world need to sponsor more uh, open source events, open source software events in Africa. So you can always partner with Open Source Community Africa for an event. Um, so we need to provide OSS learning support. So we need to help be able to provide materials for developers and designers and evangelists to get started in open source quickly for us here in Africa. Um, we, need to be able to, we need to establish OSS initiatives. So the best of my knowledge, we, our Open Source Community Africa is the um, one of the only, I stand to be corrected, open source community in Africa. So we need to be able to establish more of these communities across um, Africa. We can partner with Open Source Community Africa to start to get started in, to um, help establish OSS initiatives. So we need to provide a voice for African OSS creators and contributors. So we need to celebrate African creators and contributors in open source. So this is like a, a means of motivation for um, these developers that will help them um, get get more excited about open source so um also company um companies open source companies need to hire more folks from africa i mean we need to see um an increase i mean Af africa african developers and engineers and designers are very very talented so we need to see more an increase in the hiring of folks from africa to help spread the good news of the work that's been going on in africa so we know also um um, OSS can be provided, can be supported in Africa by promoting OSS from Africa. So um, people from all around the world, companies from all around the world should um, promote open source software from uh, Africa, like it's been done with Chakra UI. So um, there are various open source projects from Africa that can be promoted to hear, for, um, to, so that the world can hear the African voice and see how African developers are doing and inno um, open source and are innovating. So um, yeah, that's basically it for my talk. Um, I'm so excited to be here. And I thank you, the organizers, for giving me an opportunity to talk about open source in Africa. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Kuda underscore black. And you can check my blog for my writing. I'm, I'm a tech writer and also the, a developer advocate. So I do a lot of advocacy around open source and um, cloud platforms. You can also check my LinkedIn. You can send me a request. Um, I'm so excited to be here. And I thank everybody for coming to my talk and watching my talk. Um, I look forward to speaking here next year. I look forward to attending in person. Um, stay safe, everybody. I thank you once again for listening to my talk. Well, okay. Uh, we are back to Q&A with uh, Shedrak, uh, who made a very interesting presentation uh, on open source in Africa. And it's always exciting to see what's going on in other um, uh, countries and continents, of course. Uh, I was wondering whether, uh, whether there's anything Africa can teach the world. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah, sure. So, yeah, that, so the thing about Africa is one thing Africa can teach the world is um collaboration, the power of collaboration. Here in Africa, we are not so much. I mean, covering the um size of like um other continents, Africa we're not so much. So the things that help us like strengthen our open source um collaboration, our open source um participation is collaboration. So we are always big on the community community building, trying to help other people get into these things and um focus on the community side of things. So the one thing I believe Africa can teach the world in open source in general is the power of collaboration. I mean, we're not so big, but we've been able to pull up really, really good projects on Africa. And um, yeah, so that's basically one thing that Africa can teach the world. All right. And what are your uh, contacts with the outside world uh, currently? And what more would you ask perhaps in support? from the rest of the world? What, what do you need, basically? Yeah, so basically, in, um, for Africa, what we need basically is more support for African developers. So we have a lot of interesting, um, very, very smart developers coming out of Africa. So um, one thing I can say is um, companies should not discriminate with hiring processes when hiring um, um, African developers. Also, um, all the, engine, all the um, bigger open source communities outside Africa to try our best their best to make it diverse um, um give african developers the, the opportunity to speak to talk about what they are doing talk about how um, how the community here in africa is growing so i mean when we get these opportunities to talk about things that we are doing things that we are achieving then that would bring much more um support for us and um yeah that's basically it we just need more um people to hear the african voices and use more african tools all right. Uh, as 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 we said in Kosovo, we started ten years ago, really at the bottom. So, and having that uh, sense of growth and things uh, developing fast is always exciting. Uh, we wish you all the best, and of course, there is a lot of uh, room for growth. And like you said, it's uh, a lot of people and a lot of countries in Africa, so a lot of uh, development to do. And uh, we hope that uh, you guys have a you know a great uh, path uh, forward. And of course, also thank you to you for uh, taking the time. I see that you are very active in different fora to uh, promote Africa to the rest of the world. Thank you. Yeah, sure, sure. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to being there in person next time. Cheers. And our next session is uh, Debian and Debian Conf uh, 22 Kosovo by, by our uh, Flask uh, board member Enkelena Hajeo. We'll start very soon.